for the sign of Capricorn hello and welcome to my channel is that you Capricorn will feel like you're at a crossroads or you're confused about something you're not sure what to do or this could be the person that you're dealing with who's confused or it could be someone coming towards you like that like that but there's some confusion here so let's take a look at the rest of the reading or let's start the reading so that we could see what's going on here so what we have for the present time we got the hangman and it's paired with the king of wands now the hangman it shows that uh, you could be at a crossroads one with only two options in or out up or down yes or no you could find yourself wanting to do something but you've got no idea what it is or how to do it now if that does happen it's a sign that you should stop relax and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life situations people or could be things it's possible that there is an outdated attitude that you might need to let go of any sacrifice that you make it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of so this could be a thoughtful reflective time especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might best serve your own interests by being willing to change now this hangman it's with the king of wands now this indicates a man could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum but it could go either way uh, this person wants to serve as a mentor for you this king of wands is a very positive card in the tarot when it's not representing an actual person it signifies that there's a lot of people around you who are supportive of you and they think well of you so you should be feeling ambitious goal oriented and you're going to have the will to accomplish whatever you have in mind so basically for the present time we got the hangman and the king of wands what these two cards are saying paired together is that um, yeah there is confusion here yeah like I said you may need to just let go of an old outdated attitude and get with a new program or something you need to let go of so that you're not so stuck in your head or you could be dealing with someone like this and because with the king of wands there's somebody around you could be a family member could be uh, someone coming towards you or the person you're dealing with they have a, a very protective and caring feelings about you very much so yeah and you could be confused about dealing with this person now let's take a look at the rest of the reading so that we could understand why there's confusion here so the person that you're dealing with they see you like the two of wands and the eight of swords now the two of wands it's going to be important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can even to the mundane boring things like eating right getting enough rest uh, this two of wands indicates a partnership with another person it could be business personal it could be both but it reminds us to stay mindful mindful of the give and take that's required for successful relationships if things are feeling out of balance just know that they're about to get better so keep your eyes on the prize that you're looking for and just try to stay positive yeah so this two of wands I just want to throw this in the into the reading if there's some single people out there watching this reading 
um, if you're looking for a love or a relationship at this time, and you get the Two of Wands in your reading, there's someone who could be very good for you. They're already a part of your life, and you probably don't even know it. So there's someone out there that's good for you. They're in your circle already. They want to be a part of your life. You probably don't know it. But they're good for you. So it could be a friend. It could be someone that you just bypass every day. So make sure you don't judge a book by its cover. If someone's interested in you, give them a chance. The, re the relationship could be just what you've been looking for. Now, that's what the Two of Wands. This is just a little side note for the single people listening out there. So, yeah, this person is already in your world and he's perfect for you. But you don't know it yet. Or you maybe you do know it and you just... You just don't... Maybe you don't like the way he comes his hair. <laughs> or something like that. But anyway, that was a little side note for the singles... Capricorns that are out there listening. So let's get back to how your person sees you. They see you like this two of wands. They see you like thinking that you have maybe two paths towards the future. You have two options maybe that you're trying to make towards the future. Because if you can see this man, he's looking at, he's got two wands here. And both of them he's tied to. I don't know if you can see it, but his hand is tied to one. His feet is tied to the other. The one that ha has his uh, foot, his feet, the one where one leg is tied to has the bird in his hand. And he's more fo focused on that side. And he's not really paying attention to the other one. Um, so... They see you as possibly planning to make or wanting to make this connection uh, more equal. Or you could um, just have a couple of things going on, whereas you're trying to choose which path to take towards your future. Now, because this is with the Eight of Swords, they see that you're stuck in your head about this. Because the Eight of Swords is about holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future or because you're afraid of getting hurt by a new situation. Or it could be for no reason at all. So think what it is that you're afraid of. Because the truth of the situations is probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. So they see you as probably seriously re-evaluating this connection because it looks like you've got two options towards a future. One could be with them and one could be somewhere else. So that's why they think you're stuck in your head. Now, they could also think that you have fear of moving into the future with them or you're afraid of getting hurt by this connection. Or they think you're just afraid for no reason at all. So there could be a couple or, or a few different storylines for how they see you. But basically... Yeah, that's how they see you. That's well. That's one of that's one of the one of the ways they see you is I'm thinking is that they see you stuck in your head because you got you're not sure which direction to go, and it could be because of fear or or it could be for no reason at all. Now let's take a look at how you see them. So you see them like the queen of pentacles and the four of wands. Now the queen of 
Pentacles, it indicates spending time, money, and energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. This is a good thing, providing you don't take on too much debt. People could be looking to you for insight and or advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. So, Queen of Pentacles is about wanting comfort. It's a very down-to-earth type of energy. Very caring. Sensible. Make-do type. Um... It's with the Four of Wands. Now, the Four of Wands, it indicates that you could be attending a special event, one which could be way more fun than you're anticipating. So make sure to go. Business is likely to be going really well. You'll be proud of yourself, and others will be proud of you also. So this is a very positive card in the reading, the Four of Wands. It shows that you need to keep your wits about yourself. Although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun. But just know you're probably still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. Also, the four of wands could mean that you're thinking about moving your place of residence. So this is how you see them, like the four of wands and the queen of pentacles. You could see them as move, moving their place of residence. Maybe they're moving... Uh, because they want more comfort or you could see them as wanting with the four of wands they want a commitment with you since this is a love reading I'm going to go with they want a commitment with you because that's what the four of wands is about when it talks about love Yeah, this person they enjoy and they really enjoy you and they they find comfort in you. And that's how you see them. Yeah, so they may want to take this connection to the next level or they just want to make this connection more committed because they they find you they like that you're down to earth or you you see them liking this in you they might want to build a they might want to build a home with you with the queen of pentacles and they just want it to be more committed this person wants to be with you capricorn now why it's happening we got the strength card and the seven of swords now, the strength card, it's about meditating, contemplating, and spending some time alone, even if you're in a relationship and you got 19 kids. So, make sure you don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear, because the outward things, they'll be going all right, but what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility, so conquer any fears, control any impulses, and never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. So basically, uh, strength card. Someone wants this connection to be mutually supportive, more accepting, and and bring patience. That's what the strength card is about. And now we have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, this is the Stalker card. <laughs> I don't know why this card is here in this reading. But it is. It's what's, it's what's come up. Um, Seven of Swords, it can point to someone who's behaving with less than ethical intentions. And this doesn't seem like one of those sneaky type of readings, but there's something going on here. Now, it could sometimes mean prying into someone's life where you don't belong. If you sense someone is spying on you, you could be right. And if you're tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who's giving you cause for concern, you might want to resist the impulse because we know everyone deserves privacy. So trust. There's some trust issues with the Seven of Swords here. Someone could be... You and your person could be 
doing some sneaky behavior, just watching the other when they don't know that you're watching them. It's called stalking, prying, spying. Or someone could just be playing games in this connection, using tactics, strategy, manipulation. And with strength card here, someone is hoping that it, it could be more mutually supportive and um, more accepting and patient, patience and um, and more like unconditional love and more self-respect. That's what someone's hoping for. But let's recap the reading so that hopefully we can get the complete picture. Because there's, there's a few different scenarios here. So let's see what we got. Now for the present time, I'm picking up it's you, Capricorn, that's cr that's stuck in their head here. You're confused. You're not sure which way to go. Because they see you having a couple of choices to make. You could be focused heavily towards one direction more than you are the other. So you're confused. That's how they see you. Um, and it's causing um, you to be stuck in your head. Because the Eight of Swords, that's what that does. You're stuck in your head and you could be afraid of just maybe moving into the future with this person. Or you're just afraid of getting hurt by them. Because uh, you see them as... They just want this connection to be more comfortable. Or just... They might, they might like the comfort that you bring to this connection. And um, you also know that they want commitment with you or that's what they want and maybe you don't know it and I say this because the king of wands for the present time this person has a lot of caring and protective feelings towards you a whole lot and um, but there's some stalking here or there's some game playing I'm going to say that there's probably strategy and manipulation yeah there's some tactics being used here and I'm not sure if it's you or your person you could be using some tactics towards them or they could be using some manipulation towards you so it could go either way there could be some spying. They could be watching you or checking your phone when you go to sleep. Now, why would they be doing this? Because they looks like they want to be with you. And they like, they're, they're comfortable with you. So I'm picking up this might be you, Capricorn. Are you stalking this your person? Are you playing games? Are you being manipulative just to get what you want? It could be. And it's causing confusion. It's making you stuck in your head. Um, probably, yeah, they, the strength card is there. Your person wants this connection to be more, um, more embracing. And not so much, not too many games, or they don't like the game playing. They don't like the Seven of Swords here. Uh, because it causes you to be stuck in your head. It causes confusion. But somebody's using tactics and strategy. And I'm thinking it's you because your person, they, they have caring and loving feelings towards you and there's confusion in this reading and it has something to do with the, the game playing but your person they really like you so I'm thinking it could be you who's using some strategy or manipulation some tactics towards your person 
And your person just wants the connection to be mutually supportive. That's all they're looking for. They're looking for it to become stronger. But it looks like because you got options, you might be just watching your person to see where their head really is. Yeah. Do they really want to take this to the next level? So you probably do a lot of watching. Watching. Probably you might stalk them to see if they're really, really sincere. 